up everybody? Just paid for my bike. Right, Take it easy, thanks man. Um, got a good deal. You always negotiate the bike, they'll go high. He wanted 150 a day, and it wasn't the greatest bike, especially if it's not a nice bike, I went 100. So we're in North Natrang. So I figured let's take a look around a neighborhood in North Natrang before I go to the airport, which I'll probably film as well. There's a monkey up here? What the hell? Is it somebody's pet monkey? If you do like this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. The dislike button no longer exists. So who cares about that? Comment and to help the channel grow, subscribe. What the hell, it is a monkey. What's up, bro? You eating some stuff? Okay, we'll have you as a screenshot. Okay, take it easy, buddy. Have a good day. <clears throat> take a little 20 minute walk before I go home. So this is pretty much a neighborhood. <clears throat> As you see, you saw the economic relief video come out, or the economic impact, which is pretty much wiped out in the train. Nothing's open. I don't know if these people still own these places, or they're just waiting for tourists to come back. But you've just got a lot of stuff that's like this. There's some hotel that's not even trying. Our hotel actually had 20, 30 people because they must have paid to get on the top of Traveloka or something. There's another place here. On Tom Hotel. We'll be back to the ZV-1 once we get back. I had issues with it. For people wondering. The wide angle lens got knocked off and then I tried to put it on and it wasn't balanced so I shot weird footage. You saw that in the one video when I was at Sailing Club. I did shoot some Patreon behind the scenes content here so that'll be up for the Patreons this upcoming week. Overall it was a decent trip. You know it wasn't all I'm trying not to be too negative on these videos, but I just have to present you how it is. Like, I took this trip to show people if they're planning to think to come here in a month on some kind of international trip. Because they are, they are going to open it pretty much for everybody. This is one of the five designated areas at the end of the month if you book through a tour guide and do a tour package. Now, that might look okay. That might be all right. Because they might take you to like an all-inclusive resort area where everything's included there and then you go golfing and stuff like that but like especially for someone traveling domestic if you're not I've said it 50 times if you're not at a really good hotel and they don't have restaurants and stuff like that you're not gonna have fun you're gonna be especially with this weather you're gonna be in your uh, haircut you're going to be in your hotel a lot, a lot of the time. Oh, computer shop. Computer part shop. That's kind of cool. Everything is PC COVID scan app to monitor where you're at. People are like, what do you think you have to scan it? Do you want to know where you're at? Duh. Duh. I don't know to what end that would do. What are you going to go run back and grab everyone? That, that stuff needs to be ditched in my opinion. There's a little mom and pop shop. Little motorcycle repair shop. Come and get your bike fixed. There's some decent houses here. I wonder how much a house costs. I can see the appeal if you're like super laid back, chill person, kind of want to live on the beach. This could be a place for you. <laughs> We're coming up to like a little more congested area, which is good. Mm. 
more guest houses, hotels. She's up there eating fruit. Yeah, there's some pretty really nice houses here, man, to be honest with you. Yeah, overall the trip wasn't bad. You know, I didn't pay a whole lot for it. I did make a flight change that cost me another million. I think with food, drinking, everything, I never got drunk. I never had more than two or three drinks. With total cost with everything, around eight, 10 million. Because everywhere I ate was pretty expensive and everywhere I drank was pretty expensive because that was really the only places open to drink or eat. Most recommendations from people were closed and have been closed for a while. Cheers is the only bar I found open and I don't want to eat, drink with 55 year old expats. Nothing against 55 year old expats. That's just not my lane quite yet. <clears throat> oh, linen shop. Makes dresses and stuff. There's another homestay restaurant. I'm imagining this is where you can steep, stay really cheap. Especially if you're not worried about being at, at home. You're gonna be out and about. SIM card cell phone guy. Still saw a lot of people on iPhone 12s and iPhone 13s here. It's pretty amazing how they all get the newest phones. And everybody thinks Vietnamese make 10 shillings a day. Little vacant lot. Yeah, we're in a little bit more congested of an area here. That's kind of cool. Like I said, coffee shops, you are scanning everywhere. They want to do extreme contact tracing here, so that's just an FYI. I have to sneeze. Out of the way, though. Let's go this way. Get a tissue. Got a little bit of a cold, not CCP virus, don't worry. Just a cold, common house cold. There's Kilo Dong's grocery and a big pharmacy. Yes, we are shooting on the old camera. No gimbal. There's some beef pho up here, which I have for breakfast. Not from this place, from my hotel's provided. It almost like a little 3D printer over here. Well, she knows what she's doing. She's got like a little screen repair place. Too bad you can't fix a lot of new Apple products. Uncle Apple's very nice to their users. Seems like a pretty pump and pho. It's pretty much past breakfast. It's uh, 11 o'clock, so. Car wash and motorbike wash. Talking about like I said, all the coffee shops are, are, are pretty busy. I did sleep well, very well here. Nice, comfortable bed. A little bit more vibrant in the, you know, Viet area, outside of the tourist area. Lots of little fun ball way. There's a haircut, hot talk, talk numb.
swing it back the other way, start walking back. I'm, I'm on limited time today, so. Squeezing in these last videos. There was just no reason for me to stay longer. There was nothing, there's nothing else for me to do. I filmed another hotel, but there's just, you know, I already sat and laid around, you know, I didn't go out past like, yesterday was the latest night I went out at a staggering 9.45 p.m., 10 p.m. Night before that, I came home at eight. I, I'm not too invested in giving Sailing Club all my money. It's just too expensive there, I don't know. No reduction in price. I talk about this in previous videos, so. Lots of haircut places. Like I said, the haircut places did really well on the bounce back. You know, I'm glad I came here to give people perspective. Again, if, you, if, you, if you're domestic and you've got your loved one with you, and you book a five-star, two five-star, where amenities are all open, go for it. Is the weather really bad this month? Yes. Would I hold off till next month? Probably. As far as international tourists, not a chance in hell would I come here if I was you. Unless you're hardcore in the golf, and the weather's good, and you're in an inclusive all-in-one resort, and you've got the money to spend. There's some fish, fishmongers. Different kinds of fish, probably fresh spot. We got shrimps down here. She's going shopping right now. Different bok choys, cucumbers, different fish, scaling the fish right now. <clears throat> so we'll go walk over in the front by the beach on the way back. I could see like why an expat would stay if they're really laid back and like don't need much and just easy chilling. I don't know how much rent is for stuff here. But I imagine like Panorama, 500 bucks a month for a nice ocean view apartment. Oh, this is like a market, a wet market. We've seen so many wet markets, what more? What market do we need to film me? Oh, uh, Winnie's fans are over here. Let's go check out her fans. There's a beef lady here, it looks like. Pork? Yeah, pork. And Winnie's Senko fans. She has a lot of fans. I should be able to squeeze in under my first test, but we'll see how stringent they are. It's gonna be like an hour expired maybe by the time I get there, we'll see. More, you see a lot of stuff getting torn down like this too. I don't know, maybe getting ready for some kind of build something on it. And then the other thing you have to worry about when you travel right now is if you do test positive for COVID. Uncle's gonna make you go to a camp, maybe. I don't know if they'll let you isolate at home. But these are other things you have to worry about. I'm not worried about it at all. I can tell I just have a little bit of a cold, just like a runny nose. It's starting to rain a little bit. All oh, the dogs hurt. Why are you laying in the street? Why do dogs do this here? Don't lay in the street, bubs. Nice. Pull a little alley down here. And we'll go across the street and actually walk on the ocean. You can't swim in this particular part either. This is a beer club, seafood beer club. Yeah. 
Well, I had some of the best service I had at Living Barbecue. There was this younger girl there, and she just hustled, man. She worked her ass off. I don't know if she's on camera in that video. Cooking food, cleaning tables, serving food. She was doing it all, man. And very efficiently. This looks like a coffee shop, I think. It's starting to really rain. Rain's starting to pick up. No big deal. I'm not gonna melt away. The north end is definitely a bit more relaxed of a chill vibe. You're not gonna be by any of the activities of Central. I think Natrang has some really good food if you know where you're going. Sailing Club food is very meh. Louisiana's food is pretty decent if you get the right stuff. Um, there's a couple really good Italian restaurants. Living Barbecue's a guaranteed home run every time. You could eat there every meal if you wanted to. Get something different. People generalize and they're like, all oh, the food shit there. I'm like, I don't know about that. Catching some fish. This is where all the shrimping is, I think, somewhere around here. There's a defunct, unfinished hotel. You see a lot of those here all over in the train. There's my hotel, the funny looking one. Baton Bleu. Yeah, overall, I'd rate the trip, you know, 6'9", six, 6'8". Six, you know, I would like to be here on more favorable conditions. That's for sure. But, you know, this was more of an educational thing to show you what it really looks like to uh, domestically travel inside of Vietnam right now. I think it's a lot. is probably the best place to go right now from what I'm hearing. But then again, I'm not particularly uh, in love with the lot. I'm not too big of a fan of the food there. And it's kind of boring. It's like more for taking Instagram photos. Cafe Reza. Like this video series, you know, and, and this is the closing Danang video. This series is not to smash on Natrang. I love Natrang. This is just to show you the state of affairs that are Natrang right now. Like, I absolutely love Natrang. Some people hate it. They're like, too many Russians, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I, I can just ignore that stuff. When it's pumping, Natrang is so fun. And it's got like one of my favorite beaches to swim at besides like, Hansan Island and a few of those other islands that many uh, tourists don't go to. This is not like a, I'm here to bash on Natrang and be like, you know, it's, it's not anything like that. I, I really, really do enjoy, you know, Natrang. It's just right now, it's too soon, Junior. Too soon. And, and that's like all I'm trying to express. And... You know, as far as from what I'm hearing, it just really sounds like Da Nang, Hanoi, Da Lot, and Saigon are really the only kind of really open things, you know? It's pumping in Saigon right now. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Now, here, that's, uh, you can, but nothing's open. So, if you feel my, catch my drift on what I'm trying to say. Another closed cafe. All the shit piled up there. This one stayed in business and it's cranking. So, I mean, even on this part of Natrang, pre uh, all this COVID shit, you would see all kinds of people walking here. I didn't get to do anything, you know, somebody said they had two friends here and all kinds of stuff's open. I, 
Maybe your two friends are in an ultimate uh, dimension. There's no taking a boat out with the water raining all day long unless you really like choppy uh, ocean and rain. And there's really not much of any restaurant open. A very few, I would say 10% out of the 90%. It's really starting to rain now. We got 20 minutes, that's perfect. That's what we needed, We're back at the hotel. All right guys, this is the last video officially in Natrang. I hope you enjoyed the series. I don't plan on domestically traveling anytime soon in Vietnam, seeing as Saigon is probably the most open out of all places, so we'll stick put there and make content. This was just to show you potentially what it's like to see other places in Vietnam right now. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out. A little bit of bonus content. Keep my dong out of it. The pool uh the bathtub is pretty cool. Not gonna lie.